Hi everyone, hello again. This is lesson 41 of Lessons in How to Read Palms. In lesson 40, you were introduced to the mounts, which represent the fleshy parts on your palm. And you understood that they have the same, many of them have the same names you've seen before, especially with the fingers. All right, so we're gonna continue with less with our discussion of the mounts in lesson 41. But first of all, I'd like to say that um, I'm Misty Cassandria. I'm a palmist, uh, psychic medium, Reiki master, author, and musician. My website is alphawisdom.love. All the information about me and what's going on in the website, you will find listed below this video. So in your spare time, you can take a look. All right. Lesson 41, let's get started. Okay, as we continue, let me take this down a little bit. As we continue in our discussion of the mounts, there's more to be said, of course. All right, you've been introduced to the mounts, let's find out more. Okay, it is natural for some mounts to be more prominent than others. Any excessiveness in height will signify excess in that particular area. So if you are looking at your palms and you're rubbing across, as I suggested in lesson 40, you noticed some areas were higher, the flesh was a little higher, and some were just naturally seemed to be flat, all right? So we're talking about where it's when it's raised, when you feel that raised effect. And if you're not sure, compare it with another mount. Just compare. Now, in the first statement I read, it is natural for some mounts to be more prominent than, than others. It is also natural for some mounts to not be raised at all or don't appear to be raised. That's natural. All right? So we're going to begin with our discussion of the Jupiter Mount. Now with the Jupiter finger, it has the same name. It means ambition. It means self-worth. It means abundance. It means success. It also means leadership. And it means ego. So let's say you have a raised mount of Jupiter. And this raised, it's very obvious to see. And at this point, you don't know whether it's extreme raising in it or it's just a little raise. In any event, those qualities become amplified with the raising of it. But I can tell you on the good side, if you have a Jupiter mount that's raised, this means luck and luck throughout your life, especially if it's in your passive hand, because this means you will have luck in cases of emergencies. Let's say you're running short of funds and you find that you are able to get it and you look back through your life. It's kind of always been that way. It may not mean luck in winning the lotto, something like that, but it's just like normal luck, necessary luck throughout your life. So that's, in my opinion, that's very good. Okay, but if it's pretty much raised, in fact, when you compare that uh, raising of the Jupiter mount to the other mounts that are below the finger, and you find that the others, if they're raised, they don't compete with this one because this one is so large. Then this becomes the dominant characteristic for your hand. It's above all of the others. This means in your life, your ambition is very important to you, no matter what. Your self-worth is, no matter what. Getting a, having abundance is it's very important. Good luck 
is important. Well, you have that, but that's important. And then you have this ego. It becomes bigger. And then maybe it's too much. So if you have a very high raised flesh there under Jupiter, just be conscious of that. You cannot really change the characteristics because they are there. All right. So that's Jupiter. Let's run quickly to Saturn. Saturn is integrity, your attitude towards society, your sense of responsibility. And normally that is not raised or just raised a little bit. That's normal for that or natural, I should say. If it is raised, you're even more so. And if it is flat, it tends to take those characteristics down too. Integrity, mm, you have it, but it's not what it could be. I won't say what it should be, but it, what would it could be. Your attitudes towards society, eh, it's all right. It's all right. But you're not lost because there are other things in the hand that will sort of compensate for that that we haven't gotten into yet. But Saturn, integrity, and attitude, how you react to society, all of these things are important. Okay, we're going to try to take one more, and that's Apollo. Apollo. This is usually raised at least a little bit. It may be well up there, but this is, you are an outgoing person. You're more outgoing if it's raised. You're versatile. You're more versatile. This shows your creativity, your disposition, and how you handle publicity. We find that people who have a raised uh, Apollo will be stars. People we see in the movies, people we see on stage, well-known names all over the world, famous. And it could be famous in athletics, in art, in all areas. There are no exceptions. So that's all right. And of course, we look at the finger and that also will add more to what's going on with Apollo in the amount. Let's see if we can squeeze in one more. Mercury. Mercury is, of course, just below the little finger. And since Mercury involves communication, this mount shows how you communicate with others. Language proficiency and sexual communication. All of those are there. Okay. All right. We'll sit those aside. There's more. There is more. Okay, but it's interesting. It's good to know. It's I'm just showing you many ways of understanding you and understanding others. Okay. All right. If you like this lesson, please give a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Remember, thank you for subscribing if you have. I really appreciate that. And thank you again for watching. Stay safe. Have a wonderful day. And until next time, bye.